All right, today, guys, I'm going to be talking about Victor Wembanyama and his Summer League debut. So Victor Wembanyama's Summer League debut didn't go as expected. This guy is the number one overall pick of the 2023 NBA Draft. Everybody was like, Victor Wembanyama is going first. Wemby's going first. There's no, nobody is taking that spot from him. But now, some people are considering, should Wembanyama been taken number one overall? Because he shot two for 13 from the field. Only had nine points, eight rebounds, but he did have five blocks, which is very impressive. People are saying maybe he shouldn't have been number one overall pick. Maybe it should have been Scoot Henderson, who's injured right now, or Brandon Miller, who also isn't performing that great in the summer league as well. So what's going on? You know, this guy's seven foot three, supposed to be the next big thing as ESPN has advertised. And don't get me wrong, nine points, eight rebounds, five blocks is not that bad from anybody except Victor Wembanyama, because the way ESPN has advertised this man for the past year, leading up to the NBA draft, leading up to the summer league, to where this man just seemed like he was, he was a second coming to Christ. Like people, like they advertised him like he was a second coming to Christ. He was about to save basketball, you know? This guy is the prototype or the future of the league because the league is moving towards bigger guys who can actually handle the ball really well like he can and can shoot the ball very well as he can as well. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but I want to talk about his offensive mishaps because he seems fine defensively. He had five blocks. He seemed very fine defensively on the interior, which is what he's supposed to do, seven foot three. But offensively, one issue that happened that many people have been talking about for the past year is his weight. Uh, by multiple times, I saw him try to post up players in the paint, but he just could not do anything. He couldn't move these players. He was struggling. He was expending a lot of energy trying to post these players up. They are bigger, faster, stronger than him because they've been around this type of atmosphere before, playing against bigger and stronger guys. And so I see him try to post up and try to bully his way into the paint, but that just didn't work. And he was so focused on doing that, it happened to the point where he would get stripped or he would go up and force a bad shot that wouldn't go in. So that's something that that's really needs to be focused on is his weight, not necessarily just his weight overall, but his strength, his strength and weight. Like, can he put on that muscle during the season? We just saw Chet Holmgren, somebody like Chet Holmgren gain like a few pounds over the off season, over the off season that he was injured, gain some weight, you know, to be able to fare much better in the post where he can thrive because he is also a very tall guy who can really get inside the paint and really do well inside as well. Now, let's talk about his perimeter game. Now, Victor Wembanyama, we've seen the clips. We've seen everything. We've seen him do crossover step backs into three-pointers over guys multiple times in the, in France in, in when he played for the Mets, 79 or whatever you call that team, when he played for the French international team. Like, we saw that, but we didn't see that last night. Last night, we did not see that because I remember this one part. He comes around the corner. He goes to the right wing. He catches the ball, tries to dribble penetration. Now, he has his man on the hip, but then again, help defense comes. I don't think he's fast enough on the perimeter to do something like that in the NBA because compared to any other league, Euro League, Turkish leagues, obscure leagues in China, obscure leagues in Russia, like nobody can... Nobody can top us in athleticism. And these guys have a better defensive skill set than the people in France, than those guys in France. Because the help side defense came, he got ripped, turnover, gone. What are you gonna do with him? Are you gonna let him be in the paint? He can't really fare in the paint. If he can't fare in the paint in the summer league, oh my goodness, what is he gonna do when he goes against the Joel Embiid's of the game? When he, what happens when he goes against the Giannis's, the, 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 the even the Vucevic's, you know, the Chris Stapps, what's gonna happen? Now I'm not doubting that man's ability at all. I feel like Victor Wimbanyama has the skill set to become an all-time great in the NBA. He has the skill set, he has it. He just needs to work on little aspects of his game because the little things go a long way. And you might think the weight is just a little thing, but oh my goodness. If you are a player of his size, seven foot four, you should be banging in the paint as well. You should be in the paint trying to get a bucket in the paint. And if he can't do that, What's gonna happen? He's not gonna get his. He's not gonna get his points. He's not gonna get his accolades. He's not gonna perform to the ability that we want him to perform, that he should be performing to. But I feel like we should give him some slack, man. He's only 19. It was the very first summer league game. I mean, we see the saw saw the same thing with Brandon Miller, but came back this game 
and put up 16 points on 15 shots. I mean, it's not efficient, but I mean, it's better than what he did last time. So it's only his first summer league game. And I mean, he has to have time to adjust to the NBA. Like it takes a long time to adjust. Hopefully, because it, it, I hope it doesn't take too long for him to adjust. Because the number one thing for NBA rookies is for them to adjust to the game in the NBA. Because the game is stronger, they're faster. They play at a higher pace than other leagues in college, the G League, um, any other obscure African league out there, you know what I'm saying? They play faster, harder, stronger. So it's all about him being able to adjust to the NBA and really him being able to put on that weight because Chet Holmgren put on that weight. Hopefully he fares a lot better. Um, he didn't even play his rookie season, so I hope he fares great against these other guys. I just hope throughout the season, Victor Wembanyama is able to put on that weight, becoming more skilled offensively. I mean, he's already very skilled, but hopefully he can up that even more, do what he has to do. Hopefully he puts this performance behind him. He even said in an interview that he needs to work on his cardio and that he really didn't know what he was doing out there, which I mean, hey, props to him for being that humble about it. It's his very first game. You know, don't be too hard on him. He's only 19, and stat line, in my opinion, minus the shooting, minus the shooting, that stat line was pretty nice. Nine points, eight rebounds, five blocks. I mean, hey, minus the shooting, that's a pretty nice um, stat line by, I mean, virtually anybody. If anybody did that in the summer league or in a game, you know, it'd be like, oh, shoot, he's a dog. But, you know, it's Victor Wimbanyama, been hyped up for a year, whatever. Y'all not gonna give him slack, but please, y'all should give him slack. And should the San Antonio Spurs be worried? Right now, no. But if he goes into the season not performing well and playing like he did tonight or last night throughout the summer league and possibly into the season, then I feel like the San Antonio Spurs should be worried. Like, what's going on? Did you guys make a mistake? Should we have gotten somebody like Scoot even though they already have some guards? Should we have gotten somebody like Brandon Miller even though the wing positions are already filled up? So I don't really know. Uh, personally, the San Antonio Spurs should not be worried. I'm not necessarily worried about Victor. So I just want to see what you guys think in the comments below. Should the San Antonio Spurs be worried and can Win Banyama bounce back from that dreadful performance by himself? But yeah, man, with that being said, God bless. Peace out. 100. Bow. Ha ha. Yes, sir.